Hello everyone. My name is Anand. I have been working in digital engineering since two and a half decades across the globe. I am also the Indian patent agent and was chosen by World Intellectual Property Organization for their summer program last year. Right now I am the Chief Strategy and Solutions Officer for Horizon 4 Digital Solutions. This is an organization that is focused on high productivity digital engineering. Now I would like to thank the Prompt Engineering Conference 2023 team for giving me the opportunity to present my views on their platform. Coming back to the topic, prompt engineering is truly revolutionizing business scenarios. But the question is, how about the intellectual property? Are there any rights for this immersive and impactful activity? Is there an IP? If it is there, who does it belong to? And how do we secure it? With the rights come duties. What are they? So let us start at what exactly is intellectual property. Intellectual property rights are the rights given to each and every person for the creation of new things according to their minds. Now IPR usually gives the creator a complete right over the use of his or her creation for a certain period of time. While you get the complete rights against any misuse or any use of work with or without the permissions. Now the rights are issued for a limited period of time to maintain the equilibrium. Uh, there are a couple of in intellectual property rights which are definitely applicable to prompt engineering. Copyright is one of them. Now copyright is a term that describes ownership or control of the rights to the use and distribution of certain works of creative expression. This will include books, videos, movies, music, computer programs and patents. A patent gives the owner the right to exclude others from making, using, selling and importing an invention for a limited period of time. Now the patent rights are granted in exchange for enabling public disclosure of the invention. There are other rights like trademarks and trade secrets. And on the other side we have observed the demand for a new profession that is a prompt engineer. It appears to be growing in leaps and bounds. Now, what are these prompt engineers expected to do? They are expected to use the NLP capabilities of uh, different large language models like ChatGPT, basically properly formulating the requests that may yield helpful results. Now that we have such a creative workforce, the question arises that these prompts which are written by the prompt engineers, can they become intellectual property? Now a simple look at this activity tells us that pram prompt engineering can not be trademarked for sure. And if it is kept as a trade secret, of course it is just a trade secret, anybody can keep it, Coca Cola keeps its trade secret, so anybody can keep it. So now which are the other categories which are possibly associated with intellectual property for prompt engineering? Now, as far as I am concerned, I see that all the original prompts can be copyrighted. Just like one could copyright a piece of code or one could copyright a SQL script. Now why do I say that? See the first thing is, considering that development of the AI has turned the specialized systems that can be used along with each other. So there is an image recognition, there can be a 3D model generation, there can be generation of images based upon that model that has been generated. Now because there is a string of prompts that needs to drive that entire process through so many layers, so there would be a string of prompts or a kind of a method or process. Second thing is that even with one single tool or even with one single tool like chat gpt or any other system uh, there are several steps that need to be taken now this process needs to be repeated enough times it can be formalized it can be automated so in other words artificial intelligence tools with nlp capabilities are just another step for providing someone a better way to get an outcome now prompting of these systems has no other way but to become formalized and complex producing complex scripts 
and that will definitely be a result of the creativity of the prompt engineers it would be unique and depending upon the money that you are making it might be expensive to create now definitely it means that all the prompts that are original which follow all of this originality are going to be copyrighted now let us talk about patenting of the prompts prompt engineering by itself is not typically patentable as it involves the creation of a written or a spoken language that does not meet the criteria for a patentable subject matter however prompt engineering may be part of an overall process or a system that is patentable such as let's say we talk about a chatbot system that includes unique combination of hardware software and user interfaces now if we are considering patenting this chatbot system that includes prompt engineering yes there is a possibility however there are a few consideration to keep in mind the most important consideration is that of novelty now to be eligible for a patent the chatbot system must be novel which means that it must be different from any other similar system that has been disclosed or made available to the public now in the context of prompt engineering this could mean a new or unique approach uh, in terms of generating prompts in terms of utilizing them which is not currently in use the next thing that needs to happen is non obviousness now in addition to being novel your chatbot system must also be non obvious that means that it should not be an obvious solution to a problem which is obvious to others in the industry who are also already working on it so if your prompt engineering approach is obvious to those skilled in the art it may not be eligible for a patent the third aspect is utility now to be eligible for a patent your chatbot system must be useful this means that it must have a practical application and must be capable of producing some sort of tangible results and while novelty non obviousness utility all these three factors are there there is also a very important ruling that needs to be considered while thinking of patenting an invention that includes prompt engineering and its outcomes in 2014 in 2014 the us supreme court issued a landmark decision in the case of alex corporation versus cls bank international here they address the issue of patentable subject matter and this definitely would have a significant impact on patentability of software and other computer related inventions prompt engineering promptly falls into computer related inventions now in the alice case the court held that abstract ideas implemented using generic computer hardware and software are not eligible for patent protection the court reasoned that allowing patents on such inventions would risk disproportionately tying up the use of the underlying ideas and would effectively grant a monopoly over an abstract idea now this ruling has important implications for prompt engineering and any other aspects of technology to be eligible for patent protection your chatbot system that we are talking about this imaginary chatbot system it will have it, it even if it incorporates prompt engineering it must be more than a mere implementation of the abstract idea it must demonstrate that it provides an practical application and tangible results now in light of the alice decision patent applicants should be prepared to demonstrate how their chatbot system goes beyond mere implementation of an abstract idea and provide practical application in summary while as of now prompts per se can best be copyrighted like a software code but then at some point in time these combined with large language models sensors actuators they can be patented if we take the right kind of steps to protect them now thank you so much for your patient listening and wishing each one of you all the best and i'm happy to discuss anything related to this topic later as well thank you so much bye